everyone. I hope you all are doing well. My name is Pragya Paramita Kundu and I'm from West Bengal. I did my graduation from uh, Acharya Brajendranath Shil College in Zoology. This year I had applied for the uh, entrance examination in Delhi University and BHU and I have secured 9th rank in the BHU entrance and 2nd uh, rank in the Delhi University entrance. So I was approached by Kajal ma'am from Kavish Academy to uh, share with you all how I prepared for this examination and give you all some tips which may help you in your preparation. So to begin with uh, let me talk about the syllabus. The syllabus for almost all the PG entrance examination is your uh, basic graduation syllabus. Uh, there may be one or two topics which you may not have studied in your graduation but apart from that uh, you can safely go for your basic syllabus. Like for example in case of BHU uh, quite a lot of questions are asked from ethology but uh, ethology is something which I hadn't studied in my graduation. So apart from this one or two topics it's uh, the same only. But if you want to prepare very extensively, then the best thing to do is download the uh, BSc syllabus of the university that you are applying to. That is, if you are applying to Delhi University, download the BSc syllabus of Delhi University and treat that as your syllabus. Uh, after you, uh, you are clear with the syllabus, the next thing I, uh, I think you should do before you start your preparation is uh, download one question paper. Uh, see, when we start prepping for this kind of examination, most of us are either in our 5th semester or 6th semester. So by then you have already covered about 80% of your syllabus anyway. So before you start your preparation, it's good to know like where you stand. So when you analyze the question paper, you will understand that there are some areas uh, which you, uh, you will feel like, oh, questions from these topics are very easy. But there will be some topics where you will feel like, oh, uh, I think these questions are a bit difficult. So you have to work on those topics. So to understand how much more effort you have to put in, you have to analyze the question paper. Once you have done that, I think you should start your preparation. Now for preparation, you can follow either books, notes or whatever you feel works for you. For me, I personally had uh, these uh, small precise notes which I had prepared uh, during my semester examination. I just followed those notes and those notes were prepared from uh, both my uh, pr uh, lecturers, uh, like my professor's lectures and from the standard textbooks that we are recommended in graduation. From uh, these two only I had prepared my notes and I revised those notes. What I used to do was I used to revise uh, two, three topics like for example I have revised immunology and molecular biology and then I am solving the MCQs of those topics from uh, this. I had this Pathfinder ka book. It's this white colored book. I think you all have seen it. Uh, you can follow any book, uh, any MCQ book, but make sure that uh, the answers are correct. There are some books in which answers are not correct. I have seen some of my friends have the certain books where they used to complain like answer is correct, nahi yaar, hum kaise solve kare. So make sure the answers are correct. Uh, Pathfinder ka book is, is a good one. I personally recommend it. Uh, and then uh, since I'm talking about two universities here, I'll just speak about them separately a little, a little bit because the pattern of the questions are a bit different. So it will be helpful if you are targeting for any particular one. So first let me talk about BHU. In case of BHU, uh, it's very very important that you solve previous year question papers because the pattern is very similar and many questions are repeated over and over again. Uh, there are particularly three topics if you are applying for BHU which you should focus on. The first one is classical zoology that is your basic invertebrate protocordats. Quite a lot of question, uh, questions are asked from this, uh, from this area. Uh, the larval forms and uh, the defining characters, you know the uh, particular characteristic features of a tax, uh, of a phylum or a class, uh, those things you have to remember. Uh, the next is endocrinology that is hormones, which hormones are secreted from which organ, uh, then what effect its hypersecretion has, what effect its hyposecretion has, each and every details. Okay. These, these are topics which uh, are easy to understand. You can make a note of it. But you f tend to forget this very easily. Like I am speaking from my own experience. Like for example hormones. I am studying this. Okay, it's very easy. But again after one month when I am trying to solve the MCQs. I find that oh, what disease was it? Was it hyposecretion or was it hypersecretion? I forgot it. So you have to revise it over and over again. Uh, and the third one, third part that I spoke about in case of BHU is uh, animal behavior. But again, I didn't study this topic very extensively, so I can't uh, like uh, give you all any tips on how you should prepare. But again, many questions are asked from this topic. Uh, but see, if you have studied ecology and wildlife in your graduation, I feel that uh, 
you have an idea of this topic so you will be able to solve at least four five question by basic common sense only uh, but again if you want you can prepare from google or you can follow any uh, animal biology book so yeah that's about it uh, make sure you uh, study these particular topics very carefully and of course other topics are also important it's not like you can skip other topics but from other topics basic questions are asked like immunology very basic questions are asked then uh, there is biochemistry and all of those uh, and revise previous year question paper you will get a very clear idea of what kind of question to expect next is uh, Delhi University personally I found Delhi University question was a bit easier because uh, again remembering is important but it uh, the Delhi University was more on the concept based like there weren't many question on uh, classical zoology which is a good thing for anyone who doesn't like classical zoology then uh, there were the questions I found uh, in Delhi University were very evenly distributed like there were questions from genetics and immunology and ecology and all of those things uh, so for Delhi University I suggest you to not go into the details of one particular topic just revise the concept the basic core concepts of all the topics that you have studied in your graduation and that will be enough I think and solve previous year question paper again it will give you a clear idea of what to expect uh, some questions are also repeated in Delhi University but not as much as in BHU uh, so this was about it I think if you solve uh, solve MCQs and practice question paper, previous year question papers it is not that difficult to crack these exams and also uh, one thing I want to say is I have seen some of my friends even before they start prepping they google ki what is the cutoff of Delhi University and what is the cutoff of JNU or BHU or whatever they, they are applying to they google the cutoff and then they think okay this is the cutoff I have to get these marks don't start your preparation like that okay when you start your preparation you start as if you have to attempt all the questions then of course there will be topics which you will skip and there will be questions which um, whose answer you will be uh, you will be knowing but you will uh, pick the wrong mcq in the uh, exam hall so marks rest be cutting but don't prepare like i have to uh, target don't target for like the cutoff only target for even higher aim higher and then eventually uh, i think you will get in so this was it and another thing that I'd like to say is even if you don't make it to these particular universities like JNU, Delhi or whatever you're targeting for of course you'll be upset uh, when you aim for an university or college and you end up going to a different college altogether you are bound to feel upset I know that I felt that in graduation okay but uh, I am saying that some of my friends I am seeing they are very upset like they haven't gotten like one of my friends she was targeting for uh, Delhi University but she couldn't uh, get into the entrance although like maybe if, um, more one or two lists are yet to come out but again she is very upset but she has gotten into a good university she has gotten into Calcutta University which is a good university right so what I am trying to say is uh, don't be so disheartened it's not like it's the end okay even after your masters when you will be some of us will be going for jobs job or some of us will want to pursue a PhD in abroad or here in India for each of those things you have to give entrance so you have another chance to prove yourself make sure you learn from your mistakes although like even if you're not qualifying this examination you should understand okay there was some lack in your preparation so you have to work more hard but know that you have another chances okay uh, work hard in your MSc crack all those entrants that will happen again uh, after your MSc and you can still go get your dream job or pursue your PhD in your dream university uh, you can still do all those things uh, don't be so disheartened uh, of course there are two three universities which are considered the best in the country and there are some perks of studying in this university for example the student teacher ratio is good the apparatus uh, practical apparatus the resources everything but again it's not everything ultimately it's on you how you study like some people uh, who are studying say in the best university in India they may not uh, uh, like they may not work hard and they will be left behind but if you are even studying in some XYZ university in your uh, state in your locality and if you work hard you will get ahead so just don't be so upset instead channelize your energy in working hard and yeah that's all uh, I wanted to say so yeah all the very best for your examination next year and stay safe thank you